Hello, hello, welcome back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have already beat the game, but there's a bunch of stuff that you can still do around the post game, like a bunch of requests and stuff. I've been trying to activate every single request in town, as I've pretty much already done so. I'll get to this in just a moment. Uh, man, respect to this dude. He's actually kind of a tough fight. <laughs> uh, he just has a Bidoof, Shinx, and Starly, and still managed to knock out Palkia, so... Kudos to that dude. Matter of respect. I, however, have a couple more missions in here. And because I have beat the game, some things have gotten unlocked. Of course, I have to do other things as well. Like, buy two other games. If you have Pokemon Sword and Shield, and Pokemon... Or the other games? <laughs> really, Diamond Shining Pearl. Uh, if you have save data for those on the Switch, you can actually unlock... A token of gratitude and the darksome nightmare these are the only way that you can obtain without an event shaman and darkrai two mythical pokemon that are from gen 4 uh, along with arceus arceus i think somewhere in this game i'm not sure how to get it uh, i think you have to beat all of the requests including the side requests i don't know if these are necessary i would assume not, because you shouldn't need to have other games to be able to 100% a game. Anyway, I'm going to activate these now. Medi of the Diamond Clan says that she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. Listen to her story and determine whether there's anything to do in the matter of follow-up. As for the Dark's Nightmare, Kale of the Pearl Clan has reported seeing a strange Pokemon up in the Coronet Highlands. Speak with a fellow in my lab and see if you can catch the Pokemon concerned. Oh, hello. You, the one who, uh, you the one who accepted my requests. Well then, let's get right to business. There's an old tale about, er, an old tale that's long been told in the Hisui region about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely paths at night. I never put any stock in it myself until I saw it. That's usually how that works. I don't believe it. Then you see it. Okay, now I have to. Doesn't matter all the evidence that piles up that shows it's legitimate. You still have to see it for your own eyes. Bit close-minded. Anywho, I saw a terrifying black Pokemon just like the one in the stories. They say that people who are trapped in the nightmares it creates never wake again. We can't wait for someone to fall victim to it. We've got to act before that can happen. I saw it near the Clamber Claw Cliffs. That is hard to read. <laughs> it's a lot of cluck 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 sounds. Part way up Mount Coronet. Coronet. Anyway. And it was when I was out walking alone at night, just like the old stories all say. Be careful if you go in search of it, I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this. Bruh. This is a kid's game. I am quite curious. Not gonna lie. Ooh, spooky, it's nighttime. Mountain camp. Closest spot to the little marker over here. I think I'm actually headed the wrong way. I should probably go the correct way. There it is. Next to the pile of rocks. What? Oh, hello. Oh, hello again. Okay, listen here, you spooky little shit. Oh, I... Okay, I see. I can't tell a Pokemon help. What? Bruh. Attack the Pokemon. Where'd you go? Am I supposed to try to... How, how does this work? I am confusion. It seems like I can get away from it. Doesn't seem like it actually moves if I move away from it. Okay, let me assess the situation. I guess I can't battle it. Can I just straight up catch it or something? 
berries? If I can't hit it with anything, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, dark rice still exists. Doesn't know I'm here. Or shouldn't. In theory. This is actually terrifying. I've never been so terrified of an exclamation point in my life. All right. Oh, you didn't want to chase after me? Okay. Can I not fight this guy? What is this game? I mean, it's not like it's the uh, Zelf, Uxi, Mersper, whatever, whichever one it was, where I have to be constantly willpowering, whatever. Is it? Kind of makes less sense here, but this is getting to be just as annoying. It seems like Darkrai moves back to like a center position or something. If he loses track of you. I wonder if I can... Okay, I, I just don't understand then. Um, I can't see which way you're facing because the camera... Okay. Nope. I just saw you turn around. I mean, <clears throat> close enough, right? Don't kill me, please. Thank you. I'm actually low-key kind of terrified to use any move. I don't want to actually knock it out. I mean, it, it's got high stats in general, being, you know, legendary-ish. Still want to kill it, though. Yeah, that wasn't even a strong style. I was considering a strong style, so I'm glad I didn't. I might have knocked it out. I uh, see now. Here's where I die. You don't have recovery, do you? Jeez. Agile style still almost knocked you out. I mean, if you're just gonna keep spamming a bunch of dark pulls, I'll just send out my dark type. And hope that these start working. I didn't think so. Oh, okay, well. Draws my defenses and makes me drowsy. Dark Void is even nerfed in this game, that's sad. Once I get two opportunities to toss a ball. Please. All right. That works. Astounding. Do you follow me out here? Now everybody will be able to rest easy. Yes, now no one will, no one else will fall victim to such dark nightmares. I suppose I'd better be heading back home myself now, but I won't ever forget what you did. Farewell, young one. Hey. Betty, however, is somewhere at the Fieldlands camp. There she is. Hello. Ah, you must be Ace, right? Hello, I heard about you from my... My? Who is that again? She the one that was rescued by the Ursula Luna, I think. Thank you for taking on my request. I'll get right to the point. Once, when I was little, I got lost here in the Obsidian Fieldlands. I was wandering around in tears when I stumbled across a field of beautiful flowers. That's where I met it, a Pokemon I'd never seen before. 
gave me a flower and then set off walking, as if to guide me somewhere, so I followed it. And it led me back to a place I recognized. Thanks to that Pokemon, I made it home safely. But I never got to properly thank it. I'd like to find it again and tell how grateful I am. The only problem is, I haven't been able to find the field of flowers, so I'd like you to help me. Here, this is the only clue that I've got. Cressidia. In the original game, since Platinum, Cressidia was used to change Shaman into its sky form. Sometimes bundled in bouquets to convey gratitude on special occasions, such as birthdays or anniversaries. It's called a Grisidia flower. It's the same flower that as the one that the Pokemon gave me. Please find the field of Grisidia flowers here in the Obsidian Field Lens. Oh? Any guidance marker for that one? I do not see it. Oh, I actually found it by accident. Okay. Seems to be the flower field Medi has been looking for. <laughs> it's not anywhere on the map. I just wanted to double check and start from the top corner and search everywhere. But okay, I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. I was actually terrified that I was going to have to spend like an hour trying to find this thing. But all right. Flowers may be withered. Okay, I was wondering why this is the spot, because it doesn't really look like it. I remember these surroundings exactly. This has to be the place. Excuse me. Can you hear me, Ken Pokemon? A long time ago, I got lost out here, and you guided me back. I don't know if I made it home without you, so I just came to say... Thank you so much. Hello, friend. Arguably the cutest Pokemon of all time. Absolutely, no doubt. I don't think there's any contender. And I'm gonna catch it. I'll make sure to thank my for pointing me towards you as well. I suppose you'll be staying here to study that Pokemon. Absolutely. Get out of my way. Thank you. Cat Shaman. Gee, may I? Of course, I had to save first. I think I might lead Dialga for this one. Where is it? Did I walk past it? I probably did. What's mad at me? Shaman, probably? Nope, it's a butterfly. Where's Shaman? <laughs> That's a bit of a joke. Ow. Do you mind? Am I actually just this blind? Bro, I'm gonna die here. I heard it. I think I see it. Now the trick is getting down safely without dying. That's the wrong button. Nothing over here wants to murder me, right? I see you now. Hello. I was hoping I'd be able to just get the back strike. Oh well. Oh. It's one of these. The Gracidias don't hide me either. That's annoying. So like, I was praising the game's art style, but it, it's still on the Switch, and rendering things makes seeing anything in this game a little bit 
Well, damn near impossible. I cannot find the shaman again. Though, judging from the behavior earlier, it's probably just not showing itself until I get away, probably. Okay, I flew out a distance and came back. I still don't see it. I went a little bit further away. I'm actually kind of hoping that some of these beautifly will actually despawn, maybe. And then maybe I'm also far enough away that Shaman will please come back. I still don't see Shaman, though. The thing, too, is I'm not even hearing the Shaman cry. So I don't know if it's gone now or something. This is even more confusing than Darkrai. Bruh. Okay, so I've already died to the stupid beautifly all over the place. I, I can't really properly search and look at pixels that are standing still or moving or what have you. Because you don't get a second piece to actually look at anything in this game. That said, I still can't figure out what happened to Shaman. I don't think it's supposed to just vanish. I also don't hear its cry either, which means it's most likely not even here for some reason. Like, I'm sorry, but if the... If, if you're supposed to go up and actually battle it or catch it and you don't really know if you're supposed to be fighting it or if you're supposed to be trying to catch it, you don't really know what's going on. It's a little bit annoying to not be told any information about what's happening. Is this supposed to be intended? I don't even fucking know. The only thing I can think of is setting it tonight and then resetting it back today. Like, skip a day. Maybe that does something. Maybe it has to be morning or something. I don't know. Uh, it's still night. Okay, I skipped a day. It's morning now. There's nothing but angry butterflies. And it doesn't seem like there's a single shaman to be found. Okay, well, I've gone far enough away that I'm out of the Floor Arrow Gardens. If I go back in and it still doesn't respawn, then this game's just straight up broken. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Still no Shaman, still no Shaman Cry. Wonderful. Instead, I just get a bunch of pissed off bugs. Fantastic. Well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't play through whichever one unlocks this event just to get the event. If so, that would be a waste of $60, apparently. But I did attempt. I don't know, I might return to it later, see if it ever shows back up again. I'm not holding my breath, though. This game is just janky enough that I wouldn't doubt that it's just not going to show up. That's a tree. And I'm lost. But I do still have this spooky boy. He's got Hex. Okay. I might change these moves around, actually. So I did. Um, I got rid of Dark Void for Shadow Snake, because Darkrai has a somewhat decent physical attack. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it is usable. So I can finish things off if they seem to want to live at low HP. And it's mastered already, so I figured might as well. And I got rid of Hex for Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball is actually a, a Pokedex task thing for it. Um, also, Dark Void, I assume, was also kind of nerfed in this game, because uh, drowsiness is not really sleep. And Dark Void just keeps getting nerfed every single generation, where its accuracy keeps dropping. Then it made it so Smeargle can't sketch it and use it. 
only a dark ride that is originally a dark ride not a transformed dark ride actually no i think transformed is the only exception you have to transform into dark ride that knows dark void to be able to use it and even then its accuracy was dropped from like 80 to 70 to like 60 i think now it's like 55 or something it's worse than some of the sleep powder moves well like sleep powder for example um but in this game it's actually a 90 accuracy move and then you also lower the defenses and make the pokemon drowsy so they have an occasional turn to not sleep but it does heal itself after a while so i don't know it's probably about the same quality of use as just the base gen 8 games but i uh, special attack's pretty nice what is it serious nature hardy okay kind of wish you were timid or modest or something but not bad that's the one hello spook me okay that's my face but other than those two requests i did complete a couple requests here and there like i said i also fought the other guys so i guess i'll go ahead and show a little montage of those really quick
So, as you saw, I managed to capture myself a shaman. I decided to look up how to even do this thing. I, I had maintenance come over for something in my apartment, but while they were over, I was looking up some stuff on Bulbapedia. I guess you just go back to the village and come back. I went back to the village twice, and this thing didn't come back, so I don't know how accurate that is, but I did it a third time, and it came back, and then ran away, so I went a fourth time and then fought it. So, now I have one. Hello. Actually, some pretty decent good moves. Especially with uh, Serene Grace and it becoming a part flying type when it transforms into a sky form. Air Slash is pretty good. What's with all these neutral natures? Serious nature. Okay, well. I was going to check to see if we could use the Grishidia flower, but... We don't have it anymore? Do we have to use it to summon Shaman? That's a shame. In? I didn't mean to go that far. Hello. I love that animation where it blooms all of its flowers. That's so cute. Also, this creepy monstrosity. All right, play nice. Well, I think that's actually a pretty decent spot to go ahead and end the episode for today. I got myself two mythical Pokemon, two new friends. I also got a whole bunch of requests out of the way. Hoping to clear out some more requests. Oh, hello, you are massive. I'm gonna go this way then. Make the outro easier on myself. But yeah, I hope to be able to do some more requests. I have a way too many how do i open up the so many buttons in this damn game missions and requests uh, all these things over here it's a massive list that goes on for ages i uh, i mean it goes up to 103 i think there's a few extras as well there's i think the current version of this game is specifically named after a request or something like that a break something or other um yeah, I hope to be able to do all those during live streaming. So if you do want to catch those, be notified when I go live. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You should be notified for those. And if you're enjoying the series so far, feel free to drop a like or even a dislike. I promise it really doesn't hurt my feelings. It does let me know if you are enjoying or if you are not enjoying. It usually means that there's a reason. And if there is, feel free to drop a comment. And until next time. I continue my hunt for the plates because I kind of did this as a little side quest. <laughs> Take care.